hello and welcome back to TechWeb YouTube channel so today in this video I am going to help you out with SDLH ransomware and I will let you know how to remove this virus from the computer and I will tell you how to recover the data we are going to use the two softwares one of the software is free and the other one is paid but if you are going to watch the video till the end I'm going to help you out and let you know how you can use it for free as well so now let's uh, get to the video and first SGLH what is this so this is the ransomware and it's belonging from the family called uh, stop DJVU which is encrypting your data whether it's for it's a photo it's an image it's a document so it's going to encrypt you or all of the data with the online key encryption method and you will not be able to open any kind of file from the computer and your computer will run slow so what you need to do once you will get the ransomware attack first and the foremost what you need to do is you need to disconnect the internet from the computer immediately and you do not need to connect your computer with the internet before you can delete the IP addresses in the host file so that your computer will not get connected with the attacker server so let's get started how you can do that so first of all you need to disable the internet from there and after that uh, you need to click on search and type note paid and right click there run it as an administrator and click yes and then click on file and then open and choose the location and select C drive and on C drive you need to scroll down a bit and select windows and then scroll down a bit and you will find one more folder system 32 click on there and once again scroll down and you will find one more folder called drivers click on drivers and then click on etc and after that select all files and here you go you will find the host file and click open so now you will find some of the IP addresses the local IP addresses these all IP addresses are your IP address and you don't need to do anything with them so after that you will find if you find any of the IP addresses there and what you need to do is you need to select them all like that and you need to delete them all okay so once you will once you are going to delete them and after that click file and click save so in this way you are getting rid of the uh, attackers uh, uh, if he is going to access your computer so your computer will never be accessed by any attacker now if you are going to remove these IP addresses from the host file so once you are doing that after that we are going to use the software called Reeminator and uh, it will help us to remove all the malware all the viruses from the computer and I'm going to provide the links of all the softwares in the description you need to go in the description and download the softwares from there so I'm going to open the software now what you need to do is you need to click on virus again and then choose execute on C windows and because some because all the times uh, the programming files and the virus file will be already installed on C drive only so you need to execute on C windows and then what you need to do is you need to uh, choose let me have a look fix problem you need to click on fix problems and once you will click on there and you need to first of all you need to select fix malware issues then deep scan and then you can uh, exit it and after that you need to go on a clean option and you need to select clean after virus attack as well and it will take approximately 10 to 10 minutes you need to wait and once you are once you've done those two steps after that you need to go on restore option and this option will help you to recover your data if you have any restore point on your computer for example if your computer has a restore point uh, before the virus attack you can get back your computer to the previous stage and your all the data will be back and uh, uh, your computer are good to go but you need to check it so what you need to do is uh, you need to click on restore manager and then windows system restore point click there you can use those steps as well if you have any backup but if you don't have any backup you can just check here and now it will show you a couple of restore points and here we go in my case I have two restore points for example 15th of 11 and 15th of 11 the time is different so what you need to do is uh, if your computer was doing good on that date you need to click on that date and then you need to click next and after that you need to click finish your computer will get restarted and all the files and folders uh, will be 
will be automatically removed and they will be on the with the original extension and your computer will be doing good after that so this is the first and the basic step which you can follow and if you don't have any restore points then you need to follow the further process what we are going to do is we are going to use the different software I will close it and you need to download a software called test disk photo rack I have already downloaded that and I'm going to uh, give you the link on the description once again and you can check and you can download it from there and I'm going to yes so once you will download the software you need to extract the files click here and then extract the files so it will take approximately a 30 to 40 seconds now it has been extracted now what you need to do is click on this folder and scroll down a bit so now you will find QP photo rack underscore win click there and click yes and wait once the application will turn on so it will take 30 to 40 seconds again you need to have patience and you need to wait and once you are getting the ransomware attack you do not need to panic so just follow the steps and do not pay any ransom to anybody as I can see here a lot of scam people will comment and reply on your emails and they will uh, advise you that we are going to recover your data and they will charge you the less amount but my suggestion will be not to pay anything to anybody as there is no official decryptor and that's why we are going to uh, use the alternate methods so and I'm also requesting you to subscribe my channel so that once we will get any more update on the viruses we are going to give you the free advice and free solutions and if you want any if you have any questions want to let me know anything you can just comment else you will find my contact details as well you can contact me via email or whatsapp as well so now once the uh, once the software is open you just need to click on whole drive click there and after that click here click on file formats and if you want click reset now if you want to restore the image just click on PNG select that and uh, you can just select JPG as well JPEG sorry JP and if you want to remove if you want to recover the PDF you just need to enter PDF now click OK and after that click on browse and select the location where you want to save the recovered folder so you just need to create a new folder if you want and you can just give a name REC recovered and click OK then select folder and after that you need to click on search so now it will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes it depends upon the data how much data you have now you can see we are getting some of the images, and then you need to check the for uh, the folder uh, where you selected that the record for recovered files will be recovered so here we go we are getting some of the files and I can see here so you need to follow the process and you need to wait for the final result if you if you checked it out we are getting some things back here and I'm going to quiet it so use the software and I'm going to put the link in the description and I'm going to quiet the software now at last what we can do is we are going to use Wondershare recover it but uh, this is the paid software which I'm going to use how to use it free so first let's open the software and check if we are going to use it for free click OK and wait once the screen will come so now it's just opening and it will take couple of seconds okay so now we are good to go and I'm going to show you that we are using the ultimate version this is not the free version so Wondershare recovery ultimate version 7.3.2 and how you can use it for free uh, I'm going to provide you the video link in the description so watch the video how you can use it for free download the software I'm going to put the downloading link as well so once you will download the software you you will find the virus attack data, all round recovery data, deleted files recovery. If you want to recover any deleted files, if your computer was formatted, you can uh, for you can get back your data as well, and you can uh, you can recover the data from memory card, USB flash drive, external hard drive as well. So now on this case, we you need to select all data recovery, and you need to select the you need to select folder, you need to select the C drive first, then D, then E. 
and after that you need to for example i will put d drive and then you need to click on start and it will take a couple of minutes so approximately five minutes and you will get your data back and so this was the video for today and we are still working for the official decryptor and once we will get definitely we will upload the video and till then uh, subscribe us support us and you are getting the video very soon so thanks for visiting have a great day thank you